is up guys average gear review here back again with another quick little unboxing and packaging video for you as it were i've got something really cool in from amazon and uh I, if you've been watching any of my videos here lately you know that i've really been in, getting into the idea of uh fixed blades as a edc knife and uh, i've got something really cool in here that's based off of a uh, another youtuber's another content creator's recommendation uh, video of his that I watched and so I'm uh, really excited to get into this so uh, let's get over to the bench and take a look at it welcome to average gear review but the best gear is the gear you have on and as always guys welcome to the channel welcome back to the channel if this is your first video thank you so much for stopping by i really appreciate it it means a lot that you stop by to watch one of my little videos if you're a returning viewer thanks so much for coming back great to have you back with me and uh without further ado let's get over to the bench okay guys we're over here at the bench and we're just going to get right into it this one you know these flap type packages are super easy to open but this one we are taking a look at something from cold steel Oh yeah, it's the Pendleton Light Hunter. And I really wish that, I really wish I could remember who the YouTuber was that I watched a video on where they compared this to a really, really a much more expensive knife. And, you know, it, pound for pound, it came out really close. Um, the, my main thing with this one is the 4116 stainless steel is the biggest drawback to this. But it's a very basic knife, guys. This is a sub $20 uh, small. Oh, yeah. Real, really good size. And it does come with that uh, same type of cold steel sheet that they always seem to have on their fixed blades. Um, unless you get like the bigger models. And some of those have like the canvas sheets for them. But uh, just a very basic, very basic little you know sort of utilitarian bushcraft edc knife um i like the size of it the handles are, are very basic like a super basic plastic it almost reminds me of uh, like a set of steak knives or something it does have 4116 uh, it looks sort of like a brushed satin maybe satin finish there belt satin finish uh, decent thickness to the blade um, let's take a look at the size of it here. It is just almost three and a half inches on the blade length. Three and a half, you're hitting the uh, sharpening choil there. But uh, it does have a little room to sharpen in there, as you can see. And it does have, uh, you can see the way that the grips are made. They do have some sort of indentions here where you can get your fingers in. And the handle itself actually is is very ergonomic, um, but it's just it's no frills. It's a no nonsense type of you know EDC knife. I mean, this would be something you could throw in a go bag, um, you know, put in your your pack for camping or something like that. But uh, yeah, it seems like a a good solid little. Good solid little knife, and I was trying to put it in there backwards. No wonder it wouldn't fit. It does have a lanyard hole back here built into the handle. Um, nice, you know, I think it's plastic, but uh, it's a nice thick, thick type of plastic sheath. It does have a belt clip there. You know, we could clip it onto uh, a regular size belt. Looks like it would fit up to like a one and three quarter inch. But yeah, guys, I, I don't know how you feel about the uh, fixed blade EDC knives, but I've really been getting into those lately. And I have to say, honestly, the SOCP dagger was one of the main things that just made me say, man, this is really cool. And what a cool way to carry a blade around the deployment. You know, my main thing is I watched a lot of videos of Navy SEALs and CIA guys and operators and what they EDC. And a lot of them talk about how a fixed blade is just it's just better because it's always ready you don't have to do anything to make the knife ready you don't have to flick a thumb stud you don't have to open a thumb hole just as soon as you draw it it's it's ready to go into action and and if you think about it for the type of situations that you might need to 
use a blade in as far as combat wise, you know, you're talk you would be talking about an extremely close range situation and, uh, you know, quick deployment would obviously be very, very beneficial in that type of situation. Um, but it does have a, you know, it's a basic design, but it seems like it's really well thought out as far as just the contours of the handle. Uh, you know, you do have a little bit of a protection here and you also can get your finger on that as well to do some of those kind of draw cuts. No jimping on the back of the blade at all. And it is a very basic sort of clip point blade. Uh, I'm assuming that's a flat grind, but it might actually be hollow. I'll have to look at that and see for sure. And, and like I said, guys, the main concern to me was that 4116 um, stainless steel, you know, and this is a very old knife. These have been around for a long time and you can find reviews on them going back uh, eight or nine years ago, I think. So um, not a new knife or anything, but it's one that, uh, that I think d does still have a place in, uh, in the modern knife world. And if you know anything about cold steel guys, you know that they are, they're known for their cutting ability, their toughness, their durability. So, you know, I don't imagine that that's going to be any kind of issue, but it does seem like a, a nice little knife that you could just throw into like a, you know, put on a, a gun belt or throw it into a bug out bag, range bag, something like that. Just where you'd always have it handy, but it's not something that, you know, like I said, I think this was, uh, what was it $16 for, for it? $16, $17. So, you know, if you're looking for a really, really inexpensive, uh, EDC fixed blade, you know, you could buy three of these for less than what most folding knives will cost you nowadays. So yeah. Um, Anyway, just wanted to do a quick little unboxing on that. It's not a full review or anything because I, I haven't had it for that long. Um, I might could do some paper cutting tests and try some 550 cord if you guys want to do that. Okay, guys, so I thought we could do a couple of little quick cut tests with it and just, um, you know, kind of see how it handles. I just got some uh, basic, you know, plain old. This is all I could find. I don't have any printer paper around, so... Uh, Ooh. Oh yeah. Yeah, I would say that's a, it's pretty slicey right out of the box. I haven't done a thing to it. Very, very slicey. Look at that. Let's see if we can get some uh, curly cues with it. Oh, that's a little big. I mean, you probably could if it wasn't for my fat fingers. Yeah, I kind of get some going there. Oh, there you go. So yeah, the that thin blade shape. I mean, it just it just slices right through that stuff. Wow. Okay. So I made some made some confetti there. Let's take a look at uh, see how it goes through some cardboard. We'll have to see how the uh, how this edge is going to hold up to long term use, but man, right out of the box, it is very slicey, very very slicey. Man, it just goes right through that cardboard. So you love to see that. So far, it's doing great. I would say did great on the paper. Uh, just try chopping a little five fifty cord with it, and I don't want to waste a lot, so I'm just going to cut off some little niblets here. See how well it, oh yeah, easy, just presses right through it. Man, okay guys, yeah, this thing is razor shaving, hair shaving sharp, right out of the box. And like I said, I have not done a, not done a thing to it. So yeah, guys, thanks so much for stopping by to watch uh, another one of my little unboxing videos. Um, you know, again, this is not at all a review of the knife. It's just a first impressions. It's just my, you know, just my first thoughts on it. Um, first getting to take a look at it. But I have to say for $17, it, it's hard to beat, you know, the cold steel quality, just that name that, you know, that you know you're getting a good quality knife. 
And guys, this thing is uh, sharp as a razor blade right out of the box. Um, you know, my only question is that 4116 steel that by today's standards, you know, like I said, this is an older knife. So today's steels, we have a lot better, a lot more steel options. Um, so, you know, you may want to look at something a little more durable, a little more, you know, with a little better, more modern steel qualities. But for $17 on Amazon right now, it's really hard to beat the Pendleton Mini Hunter Lite. I'll put a link for it down in the description if you want to pick one up. Uh, like I said, they're running $17.95 right now on Amazon. Um, and that was with, uh, they were available for one day delivery where I'm at. Now, I, you know, I obviously can't guarantee that for where you guys are. But, um, you know, if you want to pick one up, link will be down there. Grab one. It is an Amazon affiliate link. So, uh, you know, hey, if you just want to help support the channel, uh, grab one, <laughs> you know. Um, but anyway, guys, thanks so much for hanging out. I appreciate it. If you like the video, consider leaving a like. And, uh, you know, if you're not subscribed yet, brother, I don't know what you're waiting on. Hit that subscribe button. We got a ton of new content coming out. I'm working on two more videos right after this one. So I'm trying to get them done just as fast as I can. And uh, I am waiting on a couple. Well, I have to put this. I'm waiting on one thing for my 500 subscriber giveaway. And I'm looking at doing it hopefully a week from now. I know that I've said that before, but that really is. I'm going to just do it anyway. If I don't get this stuff in in time, I'm just going to do it anyway. But. Um, I do want to let you guys know, I'm really sorry that it's taken so long to do the giveaway. I, I've got this stuff just sitting on the shelf over here. I, I want to give it away. I, I want somebody to win it. I want somebody to win that Demco knife, um, you know, but I just, I waited too long for uh, sponsors to send stuff to me. And I've just had to contact a couple of them and tell them, hey guys, I'm just going to have to do it. Maybe um, I'll try to get their stuff in for the, you know, uh, hopefully fingers crossed thousand subscriber giveaway. Um, but anyway, that's, uh, that's all I've got for today, guys. Remember what I always say, always be caring. And the best gear is the gear you have on you. Average gear reviewer. I'm out of here. Average gear review, but the best gear is the gear you have on you.